Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be covering hookworms. And this is going to be the first video in my series on zoonotic diseases. So um, I'm going to be explaining what hookworms are, and I'm going to be answering pretty much the five questions regarding hookworms, what, when, where, how, and why. And I'm also going to be explaining what parasites are since hookworms are parasites. So yeah, I might do a separate video on parasites by themselves because it's such a huge topic, but for this video I'm just going to be briefly explaining what parasites are to kind of explain it so you can have a better idea of what hookworms are. So um, thumbs up at the end of this video if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So be sure to check out our other videos, we have a lot of health videos, so I hope you guys like them. And let's go right into the video. So here we go. So what are hookworms exactly? Hookworms are worm parasites that live inside of humans and animals. Hookworms eat away at the body and they make you anemic because they basically suck away your blood and its nutrients for them. And then the hookworms have babies in your lungs and intestines because hookworms specifically have a preference for the lung and intestines area. Hookworms are defined in the dictionary as a parasitic nematode worm. Hookworms inhabit the intestines area, so it's an intestinal parasite. Hookworms have hook-like mouth parts that's kind of like, it looks like fangs almost. And what it does is it uses its teeth to attach itself to the wall of your gut, and then it punctures the blood vessels and feeds on your blood. Here are two images of what hookworms look like. Hookworms are definitely part of the zoonotic disease category because zoonotic diseases are basically diseases that can be transferred from humans to animals and vice versa. The larvae and adult worms live in the small intestine and they can cause intestinal diseases. There are two main species of hookworm that infect humans. So, what are the symptoms of a hookworm infestation? The symptoms you show may vary, but the first symptom is generally itching and a rash. But some people do not show any symptoms at all. However, if someone has a heavy infection, like there's a lot of hookworms inside of their body, then these symptoms are a lot more extreme. Symptoms then can include abdominal pain, diarrhea, appetite loss, weight loss, fatigue, and anemia. However, there are far more other symptoms as well to look out for. In the case of infants, they may experience colic, which is cramping and excessive crying in infants. People may experience intestinal cramps, nausea, fever. When they go to the bathroom, they may experience blood in the stool. Their rash is going to itch. In animals, their gums may be very pale in appearance, and the animals will become weak, likely due to the anemia, heavy blood loss. There is also vomiting. Animals can even experience pneumonia because the larvae get into the lungs, and they can even become extremely thin and emaciated. If hookworm is not treated promptly in animals, the animals could die, especially young pups or much older animals. In addition, if you take your pet to a vet, they will also be able to determine if there is a hookworm infestation because of bite marks that bleed. But the doctors can also determine a hookworm infestation by looking at the dog's small intestine because it will be inflamed. When pets have hookworm infestations, they tend to look really, really unhealthy. They tend to stop eating. And you can notice problems like paling, not just on the gums, but even on your pet's ears, lips, and nostrils. And because hookworms tend to get into the lungs, your pet may start coughing or wheezing. You can also determine a hookworm infestation if your pet has diarrhea, constipation, if their stool doesn't look right, like if it's discolored or if there's blood. So you really need to get your pet treated before the hookworms can become really, really devastating because it can be really fatal. So how does it work exactly? How do hookworms infect humans? You can get hookworm in a couple of different ways. One way is if you walk barefoot outside. Since hookworms are in the soil, they can enter the bottom of your feet. So skin contact is one way to get them. 
In the same way, when your pet licks and grooms himself, he can actually ingest the hookworms that way. And it's kind of the same for you. If he licks himself and then the hookworms get into his mouth and then he licks you as well, you can ingest the hookworms in that way too. Another way is that if a mother is breastfeeding her babies, if she has hookworms, she can transfer the hookworms to the baby by breastfeeding. In addition, you can also get hookworms by things like gardening or by coming in contact with your pet's feces when your pet has hookworm. Because what happens is, like I said, the hookworms are in the soil. So if you don't use gloves when gardening and you put your skin, like your hands, into the dirt, the hookworms can enter your skin that way. And then the other way is if your pet is having diarrhea as a result of the hookworm infestation, his feces will actually have the eggs in it, the hookworm eggs in it and then if you come in contact with his feces without gloves you can get it that way you can also get it if he's having diarrhea and you don't properly clean up the mess you could step on it and track it and you can get it in your skin that way so anyone who steps on the feces can get hookworm that way once the hookworms get inside of you then they make their way to your lungs and intestines and then they start feeding on you and having babies so why do hookworms target humans and animals? And the reason for that is because they are parasites. Parasites need a host to feed on. They need to live off of another organism. The same way that humans need food to survive, the so hookworms feed off of you and that's just what parasites do. It is how they live. Parasites are defined as an organism that lives in or on another organism, which is its host. So the parasite benefits, but the host Unfortunately, it is an expense for the host and it can lead to sickness for us or even death. Parasites are very harmful. Their survival depends on their host. So parasites can only survive by eating another organism and living off of it. Parasites can live, grow, and multiply inside of their host, but they cannot exist without a host. There are many different kinds of parasites and you can find them just about anywhere and everywhere. Here are some key points about parasites. Diseases are caused by parasites. Malaria, for instance, is caused by a parasite. There are at least 1,000 species of parasite capable of living in or on human beings. Parasites that live on the surface of their hosts are called ectoparasites. Another example of a disease caused by parasites is sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness is caused by a parasite that is transmitted by the tsetse fly. Some parasitic worms can grow to be over 30 meters in length, so they can get very big. Epiparasites are parasites that live on other parasites. Trichomonas vaginalis is an example of a sexually transmitted parasite. So parasites cause different diseases, from sexually transmitted diseases to normal diseases and even mental disorders. Some examples of parasites, since they have different forms, here are six that are very common. Roundworms, hookworm, which is the topic here, fluke, tapeworms, nematodes, and protozoa. So, where do hookworms like to live? Hookworms like to live on humans or animals. They like to live in your lungs and intestines. Hookworms can affect dogs, Hookworms can enter your dog simply when your dog is outside and walks over them because they can easily penetrate the skin. Your dog can also ingest the larvae from hookworms when he eats dirt. Because hookworms live on your blood, they can cause internal blood loss. When you have excessive blood loss, it can cause death. So especially for puppies, your puppy may have to have transfusions to replace the blood that is lost to keep your puppy alive. In addition to causing the internal blood loss, hookworms also cause a lot of diarrhea and weight loss, which means your dog is losing all of his nutrients, he's losing water, he's losing everything that he needs to survive because the parasites, the hookworms, are taking everything from him. Hookworm can affect cats, cows, and rodents.
When people come in contact with hookworms, what tends to happen is the skin becomes red and it becomes raised and it looks like there's tracks on the skin and it may even look like they are moving beneath the skin. In addition, it is very itchy and it can be painful for several weeks before the larvae die and the reaction to the larvae resolves. When children are continuously infected by many worms, the loss of iron and protein can actually retard growth and mental development in children. Hookworm is the second most common human helminthic infection after ascariasis. Hookworm infections are thought to affect approximately one in four of the world's population. Distribution is worldwide, but mostly in areas with a moist, warm climate. Two strands of hookworm are found in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Some of the diseases and illnesses caused by hookworms include bowel inflammation, ground itch, anisarca, anemia, malnutrition, low birth weight, prematurity, and intrauterine growth restriction. So when can I get infected? You can get infected if your pet is infected and if you walk barefoot outside. Since hookworms live in the soil and eat bacteria in the soil, until a human or animal comes along then they decide to live in that human or animal and make them their new host. The average lifespan of a hookworm is two years, but sometimes they can live far longer than that, even longer than 10 years. Many people believe that hookworms and parasites are not in America, only underdeveloped countries, but that is not true. A new report from the CDC has found that parasites are very much alive in the U.S. and they are affecting millions of Americans. Americans can develop parasitic infections and symptoms at any time and these symptoms often go unnoticed or they are misdiagnosed. We generally get parasites through food, water, and physical skin contact, as well as when traveling, contact with pets that are infected. Parasites can cause many serious health problems from seizures, pregnancy complications, blindness, heart failure, and even death. Hookworm has been around for a very long time, but it is a very preventable, curable disease. The trick is that you must notice the changes in your body or any abnormalities as soon as possible as well as on your pets so that you can treat these kind of diseases as quickly and effectively as possible.